the early bird brief, November 10, 2023, Veterans Day. Veterans Day gives all Americans a special opportunity to pay tribute to all those men and women who throughout our history have left their homes and loved ones to serve their country. Their willingness to give freely and unselfishly of themselves, even their lives, in defense of our democratic principles has given our great country the security we enjoy today. From Boston to Baghdad and perhaps maybe soon to Bethlehem, through war and peace, valiant, patriotic Americans have answered the call, serving with honor and fidelity. We ask a lot of our troops, physically, mentally, but also emotionally in terms of how we schedule their tours. If during World War II we had our soldiers serve nine or ten months invading Europe, witnessing carnage and taking part in bloody battles, and then had them return home for two or three months to listen to Benny Goodman playing America, and send them back to the Battle of the Bulge and the liberation of the Nazi death camps, but then back home again for a few months. Well, that would be asking rather a lot for U.S. troops to emotionally sustain and absorb. The modern, relatively short tours punctuated by home leave is meant to be compassionate and is wholly understandable as policy because soldiers have families. They have children who desperately need them. But you can't expect them to go from horror, constant alert, fear, adrenaline, life and death choices, back to common peace and ordinariness and expect them to immediately act a part of the normal person. My grandfather was a U.S. Army private in France in World War II, and my other grandfather served in the U.S. Navy in the Pacific, and the one thing they both talked about was the long ship ride home when the war ended. Thousands of other GIs and sailors were with them, decompressing with other guys in cots, reading, smoking, joking, getting themselves ready for America again. They had time to acclimate. Now, it's Diffuse the bomb in Baghdad on Monday and go to the catfish shack in central Mississippi on Wednesday. That's asking a lot, and we ask it over and over. So on this special day, our hearts and thoughts turn to all the nation's veterans. Don't let this day go by. It's just another day off and the start of a long weekend. But reflect with us at American Kinetics on the great achievements of those whose sacrifices preserved our freedom and our way of life. With a spirit of pride and gratitude, let us recall their heroic accomplishments and thank them for their unselfish devotion to duty. They are indeed worthy of the solemn tribute of a grateful nation. The early bird briefing will resume on Monday.